Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive Passing the Time. My name is Grifter and we are playing The Sims 3. So we just have these two kids, teenagers, which is sort of waiting on them to grow up before we can do much else. Uh, Illidan still has 12 days. Varian has 5. Okay. Well, not. I'm not really sure. What, what are you doing? Are you, everybody still mourning? The passing of what's her face, Ysera. Jeez, what happened to our mood adjuster? We had a mood adjuster. Everybody was using it. And now it just, I don't know. People just keep dying. And the inventory system is just going crazy. Like, Arlo has all this stuff in his inventory from all the dead people. He seems to get everything. Um, oh, this guitar. Why do we have so many guitars? Well, jeez, we don't need that many. Mm. We don't even need one. Nobody even plays guitar. Mm. Whatever, whatever. Um, Arlo, you're supposed to be writing. Always writing. Start a new trashy novel, okay? <laughs> and you sit here and eat your ice cream at 4 a.m. Why are you in such a bad mood? Because it's filthy. Here, get Bone Hilda out to clean everything. Or you could just use a spell because you know all these spells. Upgraded extinguisher. Conjure apple, cast. Yeah, there's like. Oh, those are charms. Well, whatever. What, is, what are you supposed to upgrade? What is that? Are you upgrading yourself? What does that mean, Hagra? Oh. Just... Okay. Just upgrading the fire extinguisher that you have on you? That doesn't make any sense. Can this guy... Can everybody do that? Hey, hey, hey. Um... No. That must just be like a weird... Okay, Lavish Lance Llamas. Yep, that's our new book. Okay, well, let's let's write the sequel. Okay, good. You know what, we'll just depend on Bone Hilda to clean everything. She's pretty good at that. There's no babies around, so she won't be distracted by going and staring longingly at the delicious baby flesh she wants to eat. Um, yeah, so that's that's what's going on in our household right now. Um, uh, Nixia Griffworth wants to know if Arlo Griffworth would like to go on a date. Um, okay, are these two... They're not technically blood relatives. Um, but isn't Nixia married? <laughs> and are, isn't it still a bit frowned upon? How are they actually related? He's... He is there. He is Nixia's... Hmm... Cousin? No, like brother-in-law? Uh, yes, yeah, that's what it is. Brother-in-law. I don't think, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think you two should be going on a date. That's just my thoughts on the matter. What, dog? What? Oh, is that you, Sarah? Did she come back from the dead to clean our house? I miss her so much. You only knew her for, like, a couple days. I don't even know how long it was. It wasn't very long. Oh! Oh! What? What, Arlo? What? What are you? What are you doing? What? Oh! Uh, I don't understand what's happening there. Um, Greymane. Oh, he finally. I guess he found his food bowl. He was just chronically unhappy for no reason. Oh, he couldn't find his food. I guess. Are you sure you want become a creature robot crossbreeder to be your Sim's lifetime wish? Uh, am I? Let's, let's go with, let's go with no, I'm not sure of that. I mean, I thought he was, he was going to be a green thumb. Isn't he, doesn't, isn't he a green thumb who hates the outdoors? Stay out after curfew. Yeah, that's a thing that you do anyway. Oh, I'm trying to find his personality. Okay. Yeah, he's a green thumb who hates the outdoors. I don't know. 
I guess he needs to do indoor gardening. I, we need to set him up with a nice little greenhouse, I guess. I don't know. We should probably, <laughs> probably get rid of Gustavo's things. I mean, not that I don't really love all of this. What is this? Oh, a gem collector thing? A harvester? Okay. Well... Maybe we can just put a greenhouse out here. We do have quite a big area. I'm not even sure, like, can you make a greenhouse? Okay, well, here's, um... Oh, there's a light bulb just hanging out. Just no, uh, in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't quite make sense. Okay. Um, now we have what we're going to be calling a greenhouse in place of where Gustavo stuff was. Um, it's really just some walls with an open space instead of a door and windows everywhere. And there's there's not exactly a roof, but I think this is kind of how it has to be <laughs> for it to be considered outdoors. But I mean, we can. It's for Illidan's sake, since he hates the outdoors. This is gonna be. What are you guys doing? You know what I'm saying about the greenhouse. Let's move on. Um, you're supposed to be cleaning the house, not Kiss. out here. Kiss. Doing something sketchy. Stop I don't know. Linda. Pretending to train the dog with Arlo, way out here on the corner of the lot, by the giant cliff. It's quite a nice view, though. We have a lovely little seaside view. Um, okay, well, I'll just leave you to it, I guess. I'll just let you do whatever it is you're doing there. But, Illidan really needs to plant some things. I don't... Can he plant apples? He can plant apples. What about tomatoes? He can't plant the onions yet. He bought some... Here, we'll have to plant one onion, or tomato... I, I don't know, words are hard. We'll plant a tomato right there. And we'll plant an apple. Since people are just constantly conjuring apples, I suppose this would be a good place to plant one. Right there. I mean, it's going to make a tree though, right? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. Alright, yeah, um... Is this his school outfit, or what? <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? That's not how you went to school. Are these, like, your warm outdoor clo outdoor clothes? Uh, okay, it looks like Bonehill they just taught Greymane how to sit. So, that's fine. Oh, there was a bunch of scrap in the workbench that I deleted. I guess I went to the family inventory. How's the family inventory? Oh, you just got to gardening skill level 2. Good job. What? What? What are you doing? What? Why are you so preoccupied with death? What's this? Read a book about gardening. Yeah, you do that all the time. Okay. Well... <laughs> now he's gonna go have a drink. Well, that was all the... All the gardening I... I feel like doing today. Oh, but that's not gonna keep the zombies out. Oh, no. We have to make a gate. <laughs> yeah, we've gotta make like a little gate thing. So that the zombies don't... Attack. Okay, what looks the most like a greenhouse door? Um, this fence thing, I guess? Uh oh, does it have to be, uh, do I have to like, make a fence? Is this really what I have to do? This is a little silly. I have to make a fence and then put the gate in the fence? Okay. Alright, there. That's reasonable. That. Is this a gate? No, that's not a better gate. I don't think there is a better one. Um. Stand by. Uh, nope. Oh, what's this, though? Oh. Okay. Well, I think that's, that's the best we can do. And then we'll just lock it for everyone who's not a family member. Everyone but my household. You know what? Let's just do everyone but yourself because you're the only one who needs to be gardening anything. You're the only gardener here. 
your wonderful little red coat. <laughs> Why is he dressed that way? I don't understand. Is that his formal wear? Variant just improve his athletic skill. Oh, good job. Good job doing things all on your own that you're supposed to be doing. It's amazing. Um, meanwhile, Illidan wants to... Okay, he's really never going to get the chance to dance outside a fairy house party. Let's be honest. Uh, that's just not going to happen. So, let's stay out after curfew. Roscoe wants to know if Agra would like to go on a date. Wait a minute! Okay, what was her name? Anixia is asking Arlo out on dates. Roscoe is asking Agra out on dates. Are these people not married and not related to each other? I guess they're not. They're related by marriage. But still, you can't just do that. No, I gotta draw the line somewhere. Jeez. Okay, Illidan, you could do your homework. Or you could go to uh, the graveyard because you've been wanting to forever. You missed emergency and lost some job experience. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess I feel kind of bad about that. Are you supposed to be at work, Agra? I don't understand Agra's money earning. Okay, go to work. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And it is 7 p.m. No, you're not supposed to be at work right now. Why is it even... Why would I go to work? Does make any sense? Has she been earning? Does she get paid whether she goes to work or not? I don't quite understand everything. Okay. Okay, Illidan, you're supposed to be going to the graveyard. Here, we'll just, we'll just go to the town view. I don't know why everything's suddenly so complicated. Uh, is this the graveyard? Yeah. Visit Pleasant Rest Graveyard with Greymane. There. Greymane's his dog, right? I, I think I got the pets switched for the different kids. But anyway, wait, wait, wait. What? Is that what the roof looks like? How did that happen? Why does the roof look so stupid? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Griffworth just became strong? Okay. So... You're strong, huh? From doing, like, weird little squats and stretches in front of the TV? You're not even doing what they're doing on the TV. You're watching people do, like, leg extensions. And you're stretching. How is this helping you? Okay, well, here we are at the graveyard. Uh, we were supposed to bring Greymane with us. That is some really happy music. Why are you, you're like, running in here? You're so excited. What? What? Why did you want to come here so bad? You don't even... Oh, there's Greymane. You don't even like the outdoors. Who are you? What are you doing? Why is everybody running around the graveyard at night? Something sketchy going on here. But you know what you haven't done in a while? You haven't toured... What is this? Go inside. He always wants to go inside. Anytime he's outside. Okay. Well, why don't you go ex manage the dead? <laughs> go explore the catacombs. I think he's done this before. And it turned out a little strange. But maybe... You know, he's grown up a little bit, he's got his nice formal clothes, he's uh, he's brave now, I don't think he was brave before, actually I think he was, but, you know, maybe, maybe he's gotten a little bit braver, we'll see. A spooky specter emerges from the skeleton lying before your sim, it demands your sim give it a single strand of hair or else, eh, I mean, why not, go ahead. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, are they gonna are they gonna clone him? What happened? Oh, he's fine. He's totally fine. He's like he's running around and wants to go home. No, you're supposed to be staying out after curfew. Don't go home. Where's Greymane? Greymane's hanging out on a park bench. Okay, what do you want to do? Teach Greymane to speak. All right. Go teach him to speak. Stop trying to go home. You're trying to stay out after curfew. Are we after?
after curfew now? We must be. Okay. Okay, wait, wake him up. Wake up. Wake up. We didn't come all the way here for you to sleep on the bench. Okay. Um teach him a trick. Teach him to speak. I should have worn a disguise here. I'm gonna be out after curfew at the graveyard. What was I thinking? It's Saturday night though, and it's only it was like eleven thirty when it said he was at Who are what are you doing now? Why is everybody running around? Mercedes McIntyre. Are you ugly? Please tell me you're ugly. I don't remember. No, I think we looked at her before and she's just not Kind of, but just not it's not good enough. Oh, and then we've got we've got what's his name? It's reject, Patty Mayonnaise. Um, okay, and more ghosts, yeah. We got we got plenty of ghosts at home. It's not really that big of a deal. Okay, how's the speaking going? Say dog! Kino. He's like, hmm? What? What? Are you gonna give me food? Spurk! 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 Woof woof! He's just like, what's wrong with you? Why are you spark? Oh, oh, now he's got it. Okay. Zoop. Storky! Yeah. I mean, that was good, so... Yeah. Leaves a buoy. Leaves a buoy. Exactly. Uh, there's no progress bar here. So, I don't really know how it's going. What skills has he learned? Hunting. That's weird. Proper training will prepare any dog's nose to sniff out the rarest collectible... Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, I was supposed to look in the family inventory. Um, we've got a TV. Who stole the TV? Is is one of them a kleptomaniac still? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's put his stuff in his room then. Um. The stuff is in the wrong room. I, yeah, I definitely switched. I switched the pets. Okay. Well, Greymane is Illidan's now. So. We'll put his stuff in here. And Varian can just have all the stuff he stole. Like this television. <laughs> Cause why not? Um, a whole bunch of scrap that was not stolen. It was just okay, curtains. Well, I mean you don't here, we'll, we'll put those curtains on your window there, I guess, since you stole them. You must have wanted them. Here you go. What's this about? Humiliated? What? How did you... Hunted? What happened to you? Where have you been? <laughs> what have you been doing? I thought you were just standing there working out all night. Whatever. Snirk him. Shirk him. Spurk. Woof woof. Corbanza. Did he learn it yet? Well, it's 3 a.m. I get- whoa, is this a pink cowboy robot? That is indeed what's going on. Can we go meet- Gaylord- what's her name? Kofi? Is that- is that a dude? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a mustache. Let's go say hi to him. He really wants to go inside. Hey there, Gaylord. Okay, what? That was weird. No, introduce yourself. Hello. Hi there. Flimsor. Flimsor. Alright, well... <laughs> uh, how is your career? Oh yeah, he's insane. I keep forgetting about the insane part of his personality. Such an odd child. Such an odd, odd, not ugly enough child. Don't eat the onion! No, you bought those to plant later. Well, of course he's unemployed. He's a ghost. Um, tell him a funny story. Hi there. So one time, I was looking at the stars, and it started raining in my eye. And I got water in my eye. And then I caught a fish. 
uh, Even though I couldn't see as well. Um, but I, I caught, I caught one. And I got it. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, speak madness. So, you're quite a good-looking cup of coffee, aren't ya? Nah, <laughs> Yeah, blah blah blah. So why is this person all red and fiery? Oh, do the ghosts look different depending on how they die? Like she died in a fire. What is, what does a pink cowboy ghost signify? I wonder. How did he die? Maybe we don't want to know. Yeah, I know. You're tired of being outside. Well, I guess the cops just don't patrol this part of town. They don't care that he's out until 5 a.m. on Saturday. Did Greyman go home? He sure did. All by himself. Alright, fine. Okay, quit talking to yourself. Go home. Just just go home. Yep, we leave the graveyard to come home and there's just there's just as many dead people here. We've got our dead skeleton made. We've got people, you know, dead recently deceased using the restroom. We've got not recently deceased possessing the bookshelf for no reason. It's just, it's so great. Oh, you need to go to sleep. Okay, you go to sleep. Somebody else will have to feed Cupcake too. Um, someone will probably have to wake up. Wake up. Come over here. Uh, okay, no, no, wake up. Yeah, you get out of here. You just go on home. Okay, feed Cupcake too. Um, also, uh, Sophia, the ghost's namesake, has requested that she be fed. Uh, we may or may not have forgotten that she exists, but we do indeed have a friendly old ghost, valued at $45, named Sophia. Um, the problem here is that all we can do is rename her or release her. And, you know, I'm just not quite ready to release her. Because she's friends with Coke K2, right? Isn't that right, Coke K2? Are, are, are you kidding me? Have you have you ever heard me talk about her, ever? No, because she can't speak. But, um, I can, I assume we can feed her. Uh, here, can we just, like, I can't quite, here, okay. Maybe we can move her. Whoa, whoa, people are appearing in the sink. We'll just move her over here, and we'll set this apple down right next to her, so that maybe, maybe uh, in the middle of the night, she can she can get. She, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.